My name is Thanks for joining us again on the newsroom. I'm Opoyemi Woshini, and these are the stories we're tracking at the moment. The Court of Appeal Abuja Division has sacked the Speaker of the Bauchi State House of Assembly, Abubakar Suleiman, from his seat as a member representing the Ngi Central constituency in the Ngi local government area of Bauchi State. The appellate court in its judgment on Friday ordered for a rerun in 10 polling units in the constituency. The Independent National Electoral Commission's returning officer, Shwaibu Mohamed, had declared him the winner of the Nengi Central Constituency election held on March 18th after he defeated Khalid Abu Abdomalik Nengi of the All Progressive Congress APC and Dalamin Barao of the New Nigerian People's Party NNPP. In the same vein, the Court of Appeal Lagos Division on Friday affirmed the election of Francis Inwufu as the duly elected governor of Mboy State in the March 18th governorship election. The three member panel presided over by Justice Jumai Sanke in its unanimous decision dismissed the appeal filed by Chukuma Oji of the People's Democratic Party PDP. The panel also resolved all the five issues raised against the appellant and dismissed the appeal for lacking in merit. And the Court of Appeal has affirmed the election of Sherry for Borewari, the candidate of the People's Democratic Party PDP in the Delta State Governorship poll, which was held on March 18th. The three member tribunal, headed by Justice C. H. Haha Chalbu, dismissed its petition filed by the former Deputy President of the Senate, Ovio Mwagege, of the All Progressive Congress APC. The tribunal held that the petition contained essential allegations, noted, noted that it was devoid of merit and speculative. And to support the agricultural sector, the federal government has announced a 50% subsidy on agricultural input for farmers as part of the upcoming dry season farming initiative. According to the Minister of Agriculture, Abu Bakar Kiari, other dignitaries, including the minister, will launch the dry season farming program in Jigawa State on November 25, 2023. The event will serve as a platform for the distribution of, uh, distribution of essential agricultural inputs such as seedlings, herbicides, pesticides and more to farmers. This initiative is set to be implemented, implemented across all 36 states of the country and the Federal Capital Territory FCT. Still in business, the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission FCCPC has warned Nigerians against patronizing fake online stores ahead of the customary seasonal sales known as Black Friday. Babatunde Rukera, Executive Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of FCCPC, discloses in an advisory statement on Thursday. According to him, the Commission foresees a 135% increase in fake online stores. He also urged Nigerians to be vigilant and only patronize trusted and credible platforms to satisfy their needs. And on the foreign scene, after seven weeks of war, Palestinians in bombarded Gaza were confessors, agreed by Hamas and Israel with mixed feelings. Israel sees northern Gaza is out of bounds as the split Palestinians attack, attempt to use the pause in fighting to return to their homes. Under the Qatar mediated deal, for a four day pause, 39 Palestinian prisoners held in Israeli jails and 13 captives in Gaza are expected to be released in the coming hours, with eight shocks also crossing into Gaza. And finally, in sport, French police on Friday det detained Algerian international Youssef Attal, who plays for League One football side in Ace, in a probe into suspected justification of terrorism after he published a social media post on the usual Hamas war. Last month, the 72-year-old defender was banned for several matches over the post, which he quickly deleted for and subsequently issued an apology. Attal has also been suspended by his club until further notice. And that's all on the newsroom. Many thanks for joining us. I'm Okpayemi Owoshini. Bye for now.